They even had people on that television program in Egypt come up who were part of the, the group that were given Dr. Karim's biosignatures, and they actually showed their blood work and showed that their blood work was completely clean of hepatitis C. Now, Dr. Karim often will caution that we have to be careful about this. We always want to back it up, and again, we're not making medical claims. And that we have to be careful, too, that people that have done this type of work have to make sure that their homes are energy balanced and that their lives are in balance so that they don't have other problems come up. But the result of this project was so overwhelming that Dr. Karim became a kind of celebrity overnight in Egypt. People began to pursue him on the street, asking for healing on the spot. He had to put a sign on his door at home saying, this is not a clinic. And he was actually given his own television show, which has run through multiple seasons. And the name in Arabic translates to God grant me more wisdom, where he teaches in this television show how to do energy balancing for oneself. But this work really put him on the map. And it then gave rise to other projects because some people said that, well, Dr. Karim is a hypnotist. Somehow he's able to create a placebo effect in human beings. So they said, well, then let's try the exact same types of techniques on animals and on plants. So they did so. A official from the Ministry of Agriculture in Egypt was involved in the Chick Farm pilot project where they did color balancing in a particular uh, chicken raising facility in Egypt. Dr. Karim said, stop giving the chickens any type of artificial growth hormones or any type of antibiotics. And they insisted that Dr. Kareem pay for every chicken in advance because they believed they would all die without the artificial hormones and antibiotics. Dr. Kareem energy balanced it to be full of the BG3. And not only did the chickens not die, but they grew faster and healthier. And their conversion of food into meat was much higher. And in addition to that, when they were slaughtered, the meat of the chickens was now full of this beneficial BG3 energy. So a very positive outcome from testing the effect of this on animals. And there have been other projects, too, that we won't go into today on testing the effects of biogeometry on animals in various studies in Europe. But they also did work studying the effect of biogeometry energies on plants. So one particular project was done with a professor from an agricultural university in Holland. And once again, they stopped giving the artificial fertilizer to the crops, and they stopped giving any pesticide. And again, they said, this is going to be a disaster. But Dr. Kareem said, no, I'm going to compensate for that by instead using biogeometrical energies that surround the place of the growth of the apples. And that's exactly what they did. And so the result of it is that at the end of the project, once again, the apples that were grown without the artificial fertilizer and without the pesticides grew faster and healthier. They had no problems with pests because they were so vital. And after being kept for a month in a heated apartment, the control apples that were grown normally are already beginning to rot and decay. But those of the same, picked at the same time, the biogeometrical field apples are still fine. They haven't begun to decay at all. And this is believed by the Egyptians to be extremely important because what it means is that we can create a supercharged form of organic agriculture that will keep the produce uh, healthy for a longer period of time. Because right now we're being told we need to irradiate our fruits and vegetables and things like that so that they last longer at the supermarket. But what Dr. Kareem says is that's actually killing the life function in the produce. Instead of the biogeometry, we're supercharging the life function in the produce. And we can get by without this type of irradiation. In fact, the nutrient count on this is much higher than in conventional agriculture. One of the most remarkable projects was an experiment done on the Red Sea, where an Egyptian engineer, Adel Amar, in May 1998, invited Dr. Kareem to come to where they were growing crops by the Red Sea. And their problem was that the Red Sea is one of the highest salt contents of any bodies of water on planet Earth. And so it was very expensive to take the salt out of the water to use it for irrigation. They said, is it possible to use salt water for irrigation if you treat it with these particular biogeometrical energies? And Dr. Kareem admitted that he simply didn't know and it seemed like a long shot, but he was willing to try it because, again, he sees it as experimental work. He's a scientist. 
And so what they did is that they had three control groups and in one they had uh, sweet potato that was grown normally with fresh water. In one it was given salt water direct from the Red Sea. And another it had salt water from the Red Sea but they used containers that were shaped according to biogeometrical principles so that the water was infused with the BG3 energies. Still salt water but infused with BG3 energy. Now the remarkable result of this two-month experiment was that with the salt water it didn't grow at all, it just shriveled up. With the fresh water it grew normally. But with the salt water that had run through the BG3 emitters to pick up the BG3 energy, it actually grew once again faster and healthier and larger than that with the fresh water. And Dr. Kareem told me that he thought this was remarkable himself. It really showed him that he believes that the biogeometrical energies that we're working with are actually primary above the chemical constituents of the water. Again, this is all experimental research, but it's incredibly um, promising for what we can potentially do on a mass scale with biogeometry. So with all of these remarkable experiments going on, bits and pieces of information about biogeometry began to come out to the outside world. So there was an article on CNN.com, Egyptian architect says designs can heal the sick. Then one on ABCnews.com, geometric medicine, Egyptian architect sees power in patterns. There's a news report from Reuters News Service picked up by multiple outlets that described directly Dr. Kareem's work and that had quotes from multiple people describing the incredible effects that biogeometry had had for them and particular ailments and problems that they had. So as this work began to get out to a larger public, Again, Dr. Kareem is very well known in his own area, but not as well known in Europe or North America. But again, some releases of information such as this began to lead to more people knowing about his work. Dr. Kareem was trained as an architect in Switzerland, and he spends part of the year in Switzerland. And at one point, a fellow came to him from a Swiss town of Hamburg and said that they have put a cell phone tower close to the ground in the center of Hamburg in the belfry of a Roman Catholic church and it is having such detrimental effects that the entire town is having health problems. Can you please come help us? So Dr. Kareem went to the site to Hamburg to see if he could help. What he found was that every animal that could leave the city had left. Those that couldn't leave that were caught in pens were having all types of health problems. The animals were having miscarriages. When they were slaughtered they had all types of tumorous growths on their organs. Some people living in the city were having such severe problems with chronic fatigue and other types of ailments that many of them were living in their root cellars because the amount of radiation coming off of the cell phone tower in the center of town was simply too much for them to be exposed to. In a couple of days of having access to the site, Dr. Kareem had transmuted the energy using the techniques that we teach in the Biogeometry Foundation training and the result was so immediately noticeable People came out of their root cellars and began to live normally again. Their headaches had stopped. Their various uh, energetic problems had ceased. The animals that had left town all began to come back. The birds returned. And the effects were so immediate and so remarkable that the town council of Hamburg gave Dr. Kareem the key to the city. And they held a news conference for the Swiss uh, national news groups. And it was carried on the national evening television news where they requested formally that the Swiss government implement biogeometrical corrections to the entire electromagnetic grid of the country of Switzerland. And if you go to Dr. Kareem's website today, which is www.biogeometry.com, which is out of Egypt, but it's in English, he describes phase two of this project that they're just about to start right now with the Swiss government. So again, here's another research project, and now we're seeing that we have shown that biogeometry can have tremendous effects in getting rid of the problems of electromagnetic pollution. So again, this master key of science from biogeometry is being explored and applied in multiple ways around the world.